Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neosh Kumar Singh and we are talking about our X-ray tutorial series. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be also trying to understand how exactly our tests can be organized in a very systematic approach and manner within the tool. When you talk about the test management tool, it is not just limited to creating test cases and executing them. The test management, the word itself says that how to manage your test resources within a particular tool. So organizing them, putting them into the right set of folders, putting them into a directory where the test can be approached in right categories and combined together into certain format. And that's what the test repository is an option within the X-ray which does the job of managing your tests in a systematic folder arrangement. So today we'll be talking about what is test repository as a part of X-Ray and at the same time we'll be looking into how to create your set of folders, hierarchy and putting your test within that. So let's have a look and get started with test repository. As a part of this tutorial we'll be trying to understand what is test repository in X-Ray, how to organize your test in the repository and how it becomes more comfortable in terms of ease of access to the test of our repository. In order to talk about the test repository in the X-Ray, it is very common to understand first that why we need to organize our test in a systematic manner. Of course, I can even create my test cases using Excel. Then the question is why do you need X-Ray in order to manage all your work? The point is, the X-ray gives you the freedom of managing your work into a systematic manner, organizing them into folders, putting them together with a certain expe expectations or certain objectives. But same thing if being done with Excel sheets, you may have any number of Excel sheets within a workbook or you can have many number of workbooks which could be lying here and there in different folders within your file explorer. Now the question is how to arrange it systematically and what could be the better benefits of looking at them when we need them at the right moment. Now to get started I'm going to jump onto the backlog to show you what is the problem because until unless we know the problem we do not understand the worth of a solution. Right now we are looking at a Kanban backlog and this backlog consists of some of my tests and some executions as well. For example, I've got some tests from here which are X-ray and these are anyways uh, the other test issue type from Zephyr uh, which we are not talking about. So right now I've got some tests here and I can still want further to create another set of tests. I can also do that. So let me just quickly create another quick test here and I would say this as uh, another X-ray test and I would say to test the sign up of the application. And the point here is I'm just creating a random test so that I have some set of test cases with me. Now let's go to see that for example if I have to see here and if someone asks me at any point of time that hey can you tell me how many of these tests are related to unit testing? Mm -hmm. May I not have the answer right now? Or maybe the, someone asks me that hey can you tell me what all executions you made during sprint 1? then I may have to hop into each of the tests to look into and identify by the sprint name that when it was used or called into for the execution. Can you also tell me quickly that what executions did you perform when you were talking about sprint 1 or sprint 2? Now I see a backlog which has very detailed information about what I'm doing but the problem is when it comes to executions I or when it comes to organizing things I face challenges for sure. Now this is where the test repository functionality or feature of our X-ray would be very helpful to organize our test cases in a very systematic manner which would be very helpful to access information at any point of time. Let's click on the testing board on the left which is the key aspect of our X-ray functionality and here you will be landing up directly onto the test repository which is provided as one of the feature within X-Ray. Now test repository by default will have a root folder called as test repository itself. Now in this by default all your tests will be list listed automatically with their current status on it. So we have three tests written already as a sample test 
and we have all the three status in the backlog status right now the type of test which we are created right now is manual because the second type of test which you can create in x-ray is a BDD cucumber test now how to start setting up your repository to present the data in a very systematic manner you can directly click here to create a folder or you can just you know have when you have the tree here with set of folders you can even define them for an example if I have to create a directory in a very systematic manner I would do something like this for example I would just right click here and I would see that there are options to create folder I can see the issues I can create test right from here I can add test if it is already existing I can create test set and with test or add test to the test set lot of other things which I can do right from here let's create a folder first here and call it out at the release level that it's release 1.0 if you've got a name for it define the name appropriately click on create now I see that there's a subfolder created here there might be a possibility that you have already scheduled your upcoming further releases so you can create the folder in advance because if in case you have written any test and you realize that this test will be not required to be executed as a part of the release 1.0 then you can directly place them in the next folder now selecting this folder release 1.0 which is currently empty I'm gonna create another folder under this and I would call it out as sprint 1 right and I'll click on create further you can go ahead creating the same thing and call out all your other sprints right and you can go on the continue this story till the number of sprints your release one has now the question is under the sprint one how can I further organize my information or my test in a very systematic manner now under the sprint if you think you have further classifications for example categorizing unit tests separately integration tests separately or ad hoc tests separately you can further break this folder down into subfolders again let's click on create folder and I would call it out as unit test cases or unit tests right and I would also call it the next one as create interface or integration tests right and third I would also say what I'm doing here is some of my ad hoc executions which I do on daily basis or you can call it as uh, the uh, the sanity test or whatever you're performing now it makes more sense to me that if I want any particular information I can always come to this hierarchy and figure out what number of tests are required now let's say for example if I come to unit test I see that this particular folder is empty how to add test to this particular folder so right click here and select add test and just select the general process of selecting the test from your backlog or bringing them into this particular folder just drop down here pick up mp21 drop down mp20 and click on add selected now these items are moved from if you observe moved from direct root folder to the unit test now this is how your systematic arrangement of the test can be done within repository Similarly, when you go on creating any other number of test cases, you can just keep organizing them right there. The moment it is created, by default, it will fall under the test repository. Then you have to just come to the respective folder and drag them into that particular folder where they belong. Now, at any point of time, if your manager or a project stakeholder is looking forward to understand that, hey, can you tell me what total number of tests you had for the sprint one? then at the sprint one folder level you will see the total count of the test at the same time if they ask you can you tell me specifically that what number of tests were written for interface testing then you can just come here and quickly show them the list of tests what do you have here now that's how simple and more systematic your test management becomes specifically in terms of creating your repository for the project and this can continue further for all your sprints or all your upcoming releases within the same project can I do anything more of course as I told you at the root level you can see that you can do a lot you can add test to the test set you can add test to the test plan you can add test to the executions and all these options we have covered in our previous tutorials so all these operations can be done right from here also or by going to that particular issue type 
that is an execution or a test plan or a test set right on top of it you also have options to filter your test if you have a lot many tests within a folder at any point of time if you're looking forward to search your item you can immediately use all these custom criteria provided to you to search your specific test based on the test type based on the labels component priority status covering test set covering fixed versions or saved filters if any similarly on the advanced level you can even make use of the jql queries to quickly make a search if you find your basic being limited to certain specific criteria right for an example when you talk about the jqls you can make a search on how many tests were executed in the last 24 hours how many test cases are ex supposed to be executed in next two days so those kind of criteria can only be fulfilled with respect to the jql right so we do have provisions to manage them or search them right here in our test repository. I hope you had a good, wonderful understanding on the test repository of the X-Ray and it's all about managing your folders and putting your test in the managed folders in a very systematic manner which could save a lot of your time in order to report, in order to quickly get the statistics that what you have been doing so far in order to contribute towards the quality of the system right so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning